Funafuti Atoll, the capital and one of nine islands comprising the remote nation of Tuvalu. This is one of the smallest countries in the world. Its average elevation of two meters makes Tuvalu extremely vulnerable to storms and sea level rise. People the world over migrate in search of a better life. But this is a story about people on two small Pacific Island nations being forced to move by the potential disappearance of their homeland underwater. People have started to leave the islands, abandoning their homes. It's a concern shared by the nearby island nation of Kiribati. It'd be a very sad day when uh, there will no longer be a country, a nation, a people called Kiribati. The president says his people have the next few decades to prepare for relocation. We are preparing our people, equipping them to be able to relocate if and when necessary with dignity. We would not wish to see our people as um, uh, climate change refugees. Sea level rise and unusually big waves are threatening the Ikiribas population of about 100,000 people. But the older generation in Kiribati is not willing to leave. Because if you were to ask me, and if you were to ask the elderly in Kiribati, the answer is no, they would wish to stay on, even die here. The best we can hope to have is to maintain the integrity of our culture. Whether we will be able to have uh, our people settle all in one place, I doubt it. What personally I would like to see happen is for us to maintain a nation of Kiribati somehow. We have to do that so that the new generation of, or generations of Kiribati people in different parts of the world will have somewhere to go to to say that this is, this is what once was our nation.